Hey guys, Insomni here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're back on the pay to win account and we are looking at PVP formations. So overall PVP on this account, we are ranked number one. There we are, champion six. That is really due to level, but we are going to look at formations, the top five most used formations when it comes to PVP. So I'll actually be looking here. Of course, one of the strongest formations that we see most used is, of course, Ainz and Elbeto combined with Arthur. Remember, when Elbeto does have her plus 30 signature item, she's going to increase the attack rating. She is going to increase the defense rating of this team. So the formation comp is Arthur up front, Ainz in the back, Elbeto in the back line. Even though she is a tank, very, very strong in the back line, coupled with Taylene up front. And then Tassie, big reason for Tassie, one, she has the slumber, two, she has the banish, meaning that you are going to mitigate damage right off the bat with the banish. Taylene can take a lot of damage. Arthur, face tank, can take a ton of damage as well. Albedo is there to protect Ainz. This formation is very reliant on Taylene keeping the heroes up and Ainz alting. That is really all you're looking for in this formation is Ainz to throw his alt up very, very fast. So that is formation number one. Looking at formation number two, kind of a unique one, which is Alna and Athelia. So strong, strong combination there. Providing CC is of course Pharrell. And then we do have Lucrita. This is kind of based on the Lucrita cheese and also with um, Silas. So looking at this formation itself, really wanna focus on keeping Lucrita backline Athalia focused on one of the primary targets on the opposing side. You have Silas to keep everyone up. You have Alna for the hasty buffs. You have Pharrell in here for massive, massive crowd control CC. And you also have Athalia for big, big burst damage and bleed effects that she puts out. Fortunately, I don't have Athalia built on this account, but this is a very, very solid formation that's seen a lot of play when it came to PvP in formation number two. Third one that we do look at is still dealing with Alna. Alna, since she has been released, is very, very strong. Aziz, the mana battery. Lucrita, again, a little bit of a different formation here because reliant on the twins and Rowan. So actually looking at this formation, Lucrita cheese, again, Alna slows the heroes down. Aziz not only mitigates damage through his feeble mind ability, he also cancels alt and he has a mana... Um, energy mana battery for the entire team, meaning that as his regeneration goes up for energy, Rowan is going to cast faster, Ulm is going to cast faster, Lucrita is going to get those alts off even faster, and the twins will just super cycle Lucrita's damage for group number three. Very, very strong team combination there. Fourth team combination that was run is, of course, this combination, very unique, running Mortis. So essentially, instead of placing a hero in here to provide crowd control, which was Tassie, a lot of players, when it comes to PvP, have ran Mortis. So Mortis will provide buffs on a bunch of different heroes, increasing, really focusing on Ainz, getting that buff from Mortis, allowing him to do more damage. Thing with this is Mortis has to survive enough to buff. Once Mortis buffs up the heroes, it doesn't matter if he dies. He is only there for the initial buff, and then it doesn't matter at that point. But if you can have a supercharged charged Ainz with the Mortis buff, it is very, very strong. And then the final team we go with, which a lot of people do use, I've seen a lot of play, is dealing with um, Taylene again, and then of course Aziz. We go with the Twins, which is a combination that I absolutely love. Tassie in here, remember, for PvP. And then the final one, of course, is Rowan. This is kind of the god tier comp, but the big caveat to this one is swapping out Mahira for Tassie. Again, Tassie, very, very powerful in PvP. She can do Banish. She can do Slumber. She also has the ability to negate the attack rating when she uses her teleport ability. With her furniture, she teleports a lot, meaning that she is going to keep that attack rating negated, as well as Aziz with the ground burn, keeping that attack really, really mitigated and really down low as far as the attack. You have Roman in here for crowd control. You have the twins for the super cycle, really reliant on our fifth and final team combination to be comprised of Taylene doing the damage, 
everybody there kind of supporting Taylin. And if you look at our support classes, we have Rowan support, Taylin support, Tassie support, Aziz, Antoine's five support heroes all together, making our final team combination work almost flawlessly. Again, guys, those were the five most run teams when it comes to the Legends Championship. Um, very, very cool to see. There are a couple mentions that I really don't have. Um, a lot of players were running kind of, kind of the other team that was the most seen was running Alna with Iran and Laika. So very, very interesting team. But then running Zolrath with, um, with Zafriel. So looking at this team combination, again, you have the big, big burst damage that you can pull out of Iran. Alna slows down the team. Zafriel has a lot of stuns and crowd control, allowing Iran to burn down heroes really, really quick. So this is the, the honorable mention team that made a ton of appearances in the final. PvP, it does come to a huge investment. Having Zolrath, having all of the dimensional heroes, having Mortis built, having Zafriel built, having Alna built, very, very expensive to PvP and endgame overall, but very, very competitive as well. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Very, very quick, short video about the PvP. Very cool to see. I've actually put a couple of these PvP teams into use, which is how we've progressed so far and made it into the Masters League when it came to the Heroes of Esprit event. So again, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.